Hey guys, I'm back to share with you a project that I finally finished. I've really been only able to work five, ten minutes here, you know, ten minutes there, just whenever I had the opportunity, which has not been very often. So finally, I was able to get this set done. So I want to do a quick video and share it with you guys while I had a second between laundry loads and dinner time. I gotta go make some dinner here for the fam in a second, but wanted to do this quick video and share with you guys what I created. I am going to have this up in my Zibbit shop if anyone is interested. The link is down below. So this set has four different pieces and I guess I'll start out with this. This is a, I'm not sure what I'm actually going to call it. It could be just like a folio type thing. Um, I actually created this with the bag from a French bread loaf that I bought. And of course, like, you know, the crafter in me saw the bag and was like, oh my gosh, I could totally do something with this. So this is what I created. So, uh, this is the cover and this bag was paper on one side and then plastic on the other. So I definitely wanted to utilize that and, you know, do some things with it. So uh, this is the front, so I just did some collaging here, and then I made like this big tag that slides right in there, as you can see, and then there's some uh, just paper in the background there. So this comes out, um, and then when you open it like this, this has a pocket, and in this pocket I have some uh, cards, so there's that one. There's a library card, then I have this little envelope, and then I just have this other piece um, that has some ledger paper sewn into it, like a little notebook tucked in there. And then this side right here has some different papers, so you can do some journaling here, it has a little butterfly. And when you turn the page, there's another pocket here, and inside there's a library card tag. And I just did some collaging there. And over here, there's another pocket. So this has some tags in there. And there's also a side tuck right there. So this would be the back cover. And then this does have a tag that pulls out. Looks like that. Again, I wanted to utilize the clear parts. So this would be the back. But of course, there's two sides. So you can open it like this. Here's another pocket, and then here's another card that I did. And then I utilized, again, the clear part, made another pocket with this big tag here. It looks like that. Did some sewing, so that will just slide right in there. And then that is to take you back to the front. So essentially, you guys know that the... Uh, loaf bags are long so if I was to open this all the way it would open like this and so you guys could see that's where the loaf of bread you would this is one side and you could see the bread so I sewed around all of it to make pockets and stuff to you know separate it and then this would be the other side which would be like the brown paper bag part so I just folded it in half and then folded this side this way and then this side this way and I created this like folio book whatever you want to call it I don't really know so this is that I think it came out really cute and then to go along with this I did an altered CD sleeve so that's the front that's the back has a bunch of collaging and then there is some paper in here that you could use for journaling on it's like an 8 by 10 I think or you know you could put your own stuff in there so I added the flower so it would show more here and you could see through it I mean you could you know put a picture or whatever in there so that's the altered CD sleeve and then I have this altered uh, wax bag it's the brown ones you can see like around the edges so I just um, use you know some of the same items made a bow just different trims these butterflies that you see on all these these are Tim Holtz um, so this bag is my rulers in the other room so I'm sorry it's about a 
six by nine maybe roughly don't quote me on that but it's roughly a six by nine bag so there's that and then there's also this smaller like bag that also has some different collaging on it and trims and a couple flowers and again a Tim Holtz butterfly so this set you're gonna get everything so there's the large bag there's the small bag there is the altered CD sleeve and then you're gonna get the book as well again I don't know if you would call it a book a folio or what but um, yeah it's the French bread loaf bag book I guess so I know it's been um, kind of miss here lately um like i said before in previous videos i just have a lot going on it just seems to be like one thing after another lately so it's kind of taken a lot of my time but again i wanted to get this video up and share you know what i've been working on which obviously isn't much and <laughs> just this i've been working on over the past couple weeks um so yeah if anyone is interested it's going to be in the shop It'll, the link is down below so thank you guys so much for watching i'm definitely going to try to you know get on as much as i can it's just the whole time thing, it's really hard. So we'll just see how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.